I want to wish you all a merry 2014. No, wait, 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 wait. It's over with. 2014 is a thing of the past, man. I'm right here in the final hours of it. I want to wish everybody a brand new 2015. Yeah. This right here is a video shout out, a video response, a video reply, and everything else in between to the one and only Ericord USA. How do you do, bud? Ericord USA, glad to have you. That means you got 100 subscribers out there. Or does that mean you got 100 prescriptions? Hmm. And now in advertisement, always say pinto beans in the can. In the in the rules, you want to make it to uh, to get to to um, pick out my favorite uh, YouTube YouTube. My favorite YouTube channel. And I shall do that. But first, we must get cooking. Because remember, this is the last and final hours of the year 2014. That's right. I feel a little cooking video coming on. <laughs> I hate to torture y'all, but i got to do it, man. We talking black-eyed peas, hog jaws, and some cabbage greens. We're going to put a little extra in there, too. You know what I mean? Uh, testing. One, two, three. Black-eyed pea. Click in. Got me some bag dry China doll black eyed peas. Now there are several different ways you can do this, but because we're cooking on an alcohol stove right at the moment, we're gonna have to sit there and soak these dudes in something. Now I'm not gonna cook up a whole mess of them because I'm using little bitty pots. Add a little water to it. Now we're going to put them in the refrigerator and let them things soak for a couple of hours. Now what we got right here is a half a slab of some pork giles. We got to get these dudes right here ready to go. Now this right here happens to be one of those survivor knives. Now I removed that little uh, thing they call a paracord on there because uh, it gets all kind of wet and gooky. But now the knife itself is not a bad little deal here. And we're going to slice this right here, not into super thin, but kind of a thin chunk. Oh, we're going to cut up a little bit of this right here for the black eyed peas and for the cabbage. Not much, remember, this is a itty bitty pot. Alright, I'm going to put this right here back in the aluminum. Lim, 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 lim. Let me hit this button over here. Now, we got ourselves three decent slices of some good looking hog jaws. Guarantee ya. Y'all see that right there? Don't that pretty, man. I'm telling you, don't that pretty. That's some pretty looking stuff there. Alright, to fry this up, we're going to use, we're going to use the Stan Sport Stainless Steel Mess Kit. Y'all, I get tongue-tied trying to remember all the name of these dang products. Guarantee you. Hold on, let's move this over. There you go. Now, I got a little bit of oil in there, a little bit of cooking oil there. Uh, left it over. Now, y'all remember how you season your stainless steel? Go check out the video that's below the contest of this here VR Reply. It's a good st it's a good little tutorial. You might need to know that. Now I'm gonna get this thing set up and get ready to fry this right here. Gonna take a little time to fry this right here up. Let's get that going. Got my hybrid fuel gonna be in here. Got that yellow ball of heat. 
70% isopropyl alcohol. 70% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Y'all check that out. You mix it together half and half. It reduces the cost of this, but it increases the cost of this. But it don't suck your equipment up. Since I'm gonna be doing some serious cooking on this dude right here, I'm gonna fill it up about like that right there, about halfway. And then the other half right there in some heat. And I'm gonna put a little bit around here in this this here you know, catch pan. It don't matter if I put too much in there because it's gonna take a little bit of time to do all this frying. Alright, getting ready to light her. Takes no time at all when you prime it. Gonna set the pot on there just like a so. Listen to that shizzle already, man. Now she sit up there. That there is a plate that comes with it. We got a magnet sitting on top of it. Stainless steel with that little copper bottom. It's gonna kind of fry and simmer at the same time. Watch it real close, make sure it don't burn. Remember, you can't control the temperature of these things now. You gotta pay attention. Yes, sir. Kind of like a spaceship getting ready to take off, don't it? Mini, 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 mini. Now I just put the fire out there. Got this right here pretty much just the way we want it, right there. We kind of seared a little bit, gave it a good head start because we want to render some of that juice off of there. Now I got them black eyed peas sitting inside that Stanley Adventure right there. We're going to let them things start cooking. Now this is where it's going to take a while. Now I wouldn't recommend y'all doing this with um, rubbing alcohol or any type of methanol unless you got plenty of it. And I mean plenty of it. The reason why I'm saying not to use the, the alcohol for this type of cooking on this particular cook right here is because uh, well it takes a lot of alcohol to sit there and boil black eyed peas the dry kind mm. no it just takes too long get you a can of the canned black eyed peas kind of like you know the pinto beans they cut they put them in black eyes but we using dried because I decided I'm gonna try this thing out you know it would help if I put that lid on there there now she's going to start percolating. While she's doing that right there, I'm going to cut these hog jaws up and get them ready for the next processes. We're going to choppy choppy the onion right quick. Now we're going to take some of this here finely washed cabbage and I'm going to cut it into chunks because this knife ain't very big. to the stand in sport. Let me move this out the way. I need to show y'all the striker that came with this thing. I don't like using it too much because it wears it down. Voila. All right. Now we got the flame going. I want to show y'all that little S hook that I made. Uh, this lid does not stay in the upright position. I just made a hook and puts it right there. That way the handle will stay up out of the fire. Put the lid on. Oh, this ain't the lid. Yeah, it would help if I put the right lid on. Is that it? Let them cabbages kind of cook on down and do its thing. Mm-hmm. All right, let's take a look at them cabbages. 
Ooh-wee! That is some pretty, 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 pretty stuff. Now, I'm trying to do this one-handed, y'all. I apologize for that. But I'd say they just right. Now we're gonna make us a little bit of cornbread. And we ain't gonna make with just one little bit. One kind of a small muffin size, you might say. It's maybe a little bit more. This is Kraft Classic Ranch dressing. That's right. Put a good little squirt in there. Just enough to give it some flavor. Not too much now, not too much gonna get our fork and a little bit of water I mean I don't know if you can see how much water is in that thing there or not and give it a good stir yeah see how doughy that right there is that's what we want we want to make a nice little dough ball out of that there cornbread a little earl just a bit to swage around. Gotta get that thing around there good. Make kind of a dough, dough ball. Set it right down in there. And while that's rising, there we go. Might as well set that on there just like that. That's my hobo bacon tin. Let me get you a little closer there. Remember that cornbread we had? How she done rolled like a like a little muffin. Ooh yeah. Go we'll sit her down in there just like that. Let me grab the camera. Excuse the professional shakiness. The flame's gonna get a little hotter and start to flare up there. But that one good dial should cook that cornbread mighty fine. Alright, one handed operation here now. This thing has been cooling down for a little bit. I've already done the fork test in it. It came out dry. We're gonna see it come out for the first time. If I can get it out one handed. Oh, almost, 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 almost. Hey. Woo! Now that's pretty cornbread right there. Time to get this thing all plated up. So now we get to the fun part. We get to eat it. Put a little extra black pepper on there because I love my black pepper now. I eat black pepper just like I'm breathing air. Now as to the favorite YouTube channel, I'm going to have to say, because he's the one that brought me to you, that is M.I. Woodsman, or THE M.I. Woodsman, to be more precise. I really hope that uh, this helps you in your subscription base. I'm not a very popular channel out there. Mm. Well, I knew this was going to be good. There wasn't no doubt about it. But now that cornbread came out just as nice and pretty and soft on the inside. I didn't show you all that. Excuse the wet, juicy stuff on the bottom. That's pea juice. Good, good eating there. I like crumbling up my, my cornbread in with my black eyed pea with a lot of juice on it. That's why I like to eat it. Let me get let me get this together here now. Hold on. Mm -mm. Y'all, I do apologize for eating from you. Well, no, I don't. Because I do it a lot. But I guess the real test. I mean, I know this is good. But if I can have something this good out there in the sticks, well, I think that would be fantastic. Because my channel is all about cooking. That's what I love about camping. The survival, the hiking, nature, you know, you name it. Anything to do with the woods, outdoors, that's what I like. That's what I'm all about. 
So y'all take them easy and take them care. This is amateur artist Mark D. Chandler wishing you and y'all a happy YouTube experience. And remember, May 2015 be just as tasty as 2014 was. Bye-bye now. Mm -mm. I don't wait once a year to eat this stuff. <laughs> Bye now. Boo.